My name is Sansara Taylor, and I'm here with the Revolutionary Summer Youth Project. And we're out here today because it, this is really an intolerable situation in this country and all over the world. They say we live in the land of the free, the home of the brave, America. And yet, on the streets of every major city in this country, in every rural area where people think there's no one paying attention, you have young people being jacked up, harassed, brutalized, forced to kiss the pavement, forced to give up and hand over their dignity to enforcers in blue every day. This is what they do to our youth. And they do the same thing. America, the land of the free, the home of the brave, they do the same thing across the planet. What they did to Juanita Young just two nights ago, kicking down her door, dragging people out, brutalizing them, brutalizing them. That's what they do with their troops in Iraq, in Afghanistan, to the youth of those countries. And I want to give, and Palestine, it's right. And I want to give a shout out to all the parents who came out today, to Nicholas, to Carolyn. You may not be a model U.S. citizen, but welcome to being a citizen of humanity all and right. of the world standing up against the crimes of this country. I want to give a shout out to Margarita, to Aileen, and especially to Juanita, because she spoke about this, but I don't know if everybody heard her. Her son, Malcolm, I remember the day he was killed. He was killed five days after he got arrested, five days after the police who shot Amadou Diallo 41 times on his own doorstep, not far from here, when he was holding up his ID trying to reach for his wallet and they say they thought it was a gun. They shot him 41 times. And the whole country protested. People all over who didn't know about this before paid attention and came out. And there was outrage. And there was a trial. And then after, hundreds of people got arrested. Hundreds of people did civil disobedience. People thought this time we're going to get justice. And then the system came down like it always does and says, no, when they kill, when they brutalize, it's justifiable homicide. And I remember the night there was protests up here. And there were, the police came out and they vamped on people. There was such anger. There was such anger because it, it wasn't just Amadou. Because people knew it could have been them. And people came out in the streets and Malcolm was out in the streets and he was arrested as part of those protests. And it's a very heavy thing. Five days later, he was shot in a stairwell. Very close range. That was no accident. That was not justifiable. And it was a message being sent. And it means a great deal when that message was sent that the parents have come out and stood up. And Juanita has stood up and she has not stopped standing up. And I want to say, I talked about what this system does around the world. I want to recognize that she was one of the first people out there too protesting the Iraq war before it even began. Raising her voice on behalf of the youth in this country and all over the world who are victims of the system, the criminal system of America. And I want to say just two more things real quick. Because we're out here with the Revolutionary Summer Youth Project. We're spreading revolution. Letting people know about Baba Banky who's figured out a strategy for revolution and how we can run a whole different society where there are no more police murders, where they teach the truth in the schools instead of all this lies about America, the land of the free, where people learn about the history of slavery and genocide this land was founded on, where we get rid of a situation where a quarter of the women in their lives are going to be raped or brutalized in their own homes, and now you have men going off and shooting women in the gyms just because they're women. This is a sick system, and it's time that people stand up against it, resist today, and organize and build up the strength for revolution, because we do not have to live this way. It is not necessary. Carl's been saying this. I'm going to say it one more time. The days when this system can just keep on doing what it does to people here and all over the world, and people are not inspired and organized to stand up against this and to build up the strength to put an end to this madness, those days must be gone and they can be. And that's a big part of why we're here today. We're gonna to march through the neighborhood with you. We're all gonna do this together. But we have to call people out of their houses. We have to call people into the streets with us. We have to say the real lesson of what they tried to do to Juanita Young is that more people are gonna stand up. More people are gonna speak out. And we're gonna change this situation. It is not tolerable and there is so much anger simmering beneath the surface. But we have a responsibility to call those people out 
and give them something positive to do with that anger. No more of these youth getting caught up in all kinds of random, crazy, unnecessary madness, killing and fighting each other. It's time to fight the power and transform ourselves for revolution. It's time to build resistance today and prepare for the day when this system can be overturned. So we have to call people out. We have to ask them to join us. We have to challenge them. And we really have to take the lead when this system treats Juanita Young like a criminal and they let people like who legalize torture go on and teach in the law schools. Right on. That's Don a you. system that right has on. to be overturned. Yep. It's a system whose time is up and it's today that people have to start standing up and fighting. And that's what we're here to do. That's what we're here to do today. I know people are coming from different perspectives, but that's something we have to bust open in this country, that it does not have to be this way. And, and it's on us and it's up to us to change all of this. So, hands off Juanita Young. Let's say that together. Hands off Juanita Young. Stop police brutality. That's the one last thing. I knew there was one other thing. I was going till I remembered it. And that is October 22nd. I know they said this, but this year, October 22nd. Look, they shot Oscar Grant on New Year's Day. They've been killing people all over the country. They stop and frisk a million people in this city off the subway trains, all this. October 22nd, wearing black, coming out in the streets, everybody together from different perspectives. Right now, this year, this has to be a turning point. So everybody out here today, we should be organizing. This doesn't end today. We're spreading this. October 22nd, all out. We're changing all this. It's time to stop police brutality, repression, and the criminalization of a generation. Thank you. Thank you.